be thinking of taking your next pedal stroke in your cycling life. It could be trying out clipless pedals, lycra, entering your first race, or even considering your first long ride. Whatever your aim is to achieve in your cycling life, it'll take some confidence. Everybody has different levels of experience, and usually with experience comes confidence to try new things. In this video, I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to grow your confidence on the bike. And hopefully by the end, you'll be able to work towards your next big or little goal in your cycling life. Before we get started, let's head over to the GCN app and answer this poll. How confident are you on the bike? Once you've answered that, come back and we'll get started. If you're working towards your next big ride goal, make sure you set yourself weekly targets to make sure they're achievable. No point setting yourself a big goal to scare yourself off and then not ride at all. It could be a 50 kilometer ride. You could break that down into two 25 kilometer rides on the weekend or five 10 kilometer rides over the week, whatever works to your schedule best. And if you devoured those 50 kilometers, why not try 60, 70 or 80? And before you know it, you'll be at the big 100. Standing at the saddle. It may sound simple, but if you're just getting into riding, it can be pretty scary. The concept of standing up on the pedals and swaying your bike from left to right, going up a hill, it is pretty scary. Why not try this stationary at home if you're gonna try it out for the first time? Stand up on your pedals with them level, and then when you're confident doing that, head out on the road. Try it on a nice flat road to begin with, then on a descent, and then on an uphill. You can also try bunny hopping. This is really good to get yourself out of some sticky situations, bunny hopping curbs, potholes, or debris on the road. Practice does make perfect, and I did a video on how to bunny hop recently, and make sure you head over and watch that and see if you can do any better, because I was truly terrible, so I'm sure you can. There are two great ways to build your confidence by riding with others. The first one would be to ride with family or friends that are perhaps less experienced than yourself. You could act as their guide and coach for them to become better riders. On the other hand, you could try riding with someone who is more experienced than yourself. This can help you push your limits to ride further, faster and better than you normally would. You learn roadcraft by talking to others and sharing knowledge or by getting more confident by riding in a group. It is, however, important to do both. There's no point riding with someone who's just going to drop you every ride you do because that's just not going to be good for morale. You need to do a bit of both. <laughs> Looking back. Now, no, I don't mean looking over your shoulder when you're out riding on the road, although that is a very good skill to have. I mean looking back at just how far you've come to get to this stage. It's great to evaluate just how far you've come as a rider instead of getting overwhelmed with what's to come. I always used to set myself annual goals as a rider, something to get excited about and look back on over the years to see just how far I've come. It regular. It's better to ride little and often rather than one big ride once a month. Not only will you probably worry about that big ride, but your body will get used to not being on the bike. Even if it's just half an hour every other day, it's better than nothing. Keep your body and mind in check and ultimately build your confidence by spending more time on the bike. If there's something you're struggling with, confidence, cornering, descending, talk about it. It's highly likely that someone you know will be able to offer some advice or guidance. Otherwise, chat to the cycling community on social media, YouTube, or on the GCN app. Everyone is super friendly. And as for the favorite GCN saying goes, we've all been there. Obviously trying something new comes with greater confidence, but there are other types of riding you can do at lower risk. If you usually ride a road bike, why not see if you can hire a mountain bike for a weekend and get out and hit the trails? You can pick up a load of new skills without even noticing, and you can transfer them to the road. Perhaps you're struggling with confidence due to an injury or a crash, or some kind of negative emotion attached to a location or a ride. Try switching it up by riding somewhere completely different. Get inspired by an epic view, or explore your local area that you might have neglected. Once you've built up that confidence, you can return it to that original location, but you don't have to. There's a whole world out there to explore. Getting your confidence on the bike is a slow process, especially if your confidence gets knocked back by a crash. You'll have to work back slowly to get back to where you were. Don't worry about it and don't rush it. Good things come to those who wait, as the saying goes. And don't beat yourself up about if your friends ride every day. 
do it at your own pace and do what feels right for you. And finally, watch GCN. Come on, I wasn't not going to say that. We're here to help you progress through your cycling lives. If you've just started or if you're a seasoned pro, we're here to help you. We've got tons of videos on our channel on every possible topic. And if you can't find something, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope this video has helped you build some confidence to get out on your bike. And talk about riding bikes. I think I'm gonna go ride my bike.